Today we have a countertop nugget and water dispenser that will dispense water. It would dispense ice if it had ice, but it will not run and make ice. Let's see if we can figure out why. I've already saved the time and taken off the panels to gain access to the electrical compartment. If we take a look at our top board, which is our ice making board, you see that none of the lights are lit. On this particular machine, we bring our line voltage in on the bottom. So you can see I have good line voltage coming into the machine. Next thing we're gonna do is check for power between the purple wire and the white wire on the six pin connector. And as you can see, I do not have voltage coming into this board. I'm going to start with connecting one of my leads to the neutral. If we take a look at the schematic, you'll see that the line voltage travels through component number seven. Taking a look at the electrical chart, you'll see that component number seven is the low temperature evaporator thermostat. The evaporator low temperature thermostat is this metal box located right here. Lucky for us, we do not need to disassemble anything in order to access the wires for this switch and check if it's opened or closed. One side of the wire comes off of the line side of the contactor and the other one runs right back here to this connector. I'm going to disconnect this connector and see what kind of voltage we have coming here. We're doing this live, so we will have line voltage here. Use electrical common sense in order to be safe. So when I check here, we have 120 volts. For the method that we are using today, checking with the neutral to the line, this is good. This means that this switch is closed. So we can go ahead and remake this connection and move on to the next component in the series. I've spun the machine around. I've removed the back panel for the video so you can see the low pressure switch. You can access it from the left side of the unit if you're working on it in an installed configuration. So I still have my black lead connected to the neutral up front. Let's check across this switch and see what we have. Okay, so I have 120 volts on each terminal of the switch. This one is closed as well. From here, we're going to move on to the high pressure cutout switch. Now we're over here looking at the compressor discharge line and you'll see two switches here. The one on the left is your fan cycle switch. The one on the right is your high pressure cutout. Again, my black wire is still connected to the neutral on the other side. And if you see here, I have good voltage coming into the switch and an open circuit coming out of the switch. So today we have a failed high pressure cutout causing no power to come to that board. I just got done replacing that high pressure cutout switch that failed on this machine. And as you can see, I've restored power to the machine. Our board now has power as it should, and we are in a delay. As you just heard, the delay ended, contactor pulled in, our compressor is running, and we'll be making some ice.